Tarzan of the Apes, brought to you from out the pages of Edgar Rice Burroughs' astounding book. You're determined to go, Professor? Yes, please. What else can I do to leave my daughter out there in the jungle? Why, it's unthinkable. And yet, Archimedes, what can you hope to accomplish? Nothing. Oh, yes, yes, Philander. What you say is true, but to do nothing is impossible. I, I should never forgive myself. Very well. Now we stop. Why, that? That's a gun. There must be a ship. A ship. A ship. A ship. There. Off the coast. Uh, uh, and there's the pirate ship. I wonder if Captain Trace is aboard. They must have fired that gun to see if we're still here. Yes, yes, of course. We must attract their attention. Will you look out for Porter while I go to the headland and fire the beacon? They can't possibly see us here, even with powerful glass. Uh, to think. Oh, I dare think about it. Yesterday, if they'd only come. And today, it's too late. I can't see very well. Do they, do they appear to be lowering a boat? I think not. They seem to be clustered on the upper deck, searching the coast with their glasses. Ah, then, Clayton, you must forget me. You must think of yourself. Go to the beacon before it's too late. You come along too, boy. No, no, no. I will start off alone on my search. But, Professor, when the crew lands, they, we, all of us will search. And the more I think of it, the more I'm inclined to the belief that Jane may be alive after all. Uh, Clayton, Clayton, what do you mean? Ordinarily, I think, an ape would kill right away. Yes, yes, I've been thinking the same thing. And we heard Jane screaming for some considerable time. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, all that I mean is that if the ape did not kill Jane right away, why should the brute have killed her later? Uh, Clayton, you may be right. Uh, let us hasten to the headland and watch. I, I, I'll, I'll postpone my searching until the crew land. If they do... Hurry, hurry. I'll go ahead as fast as I can. You follow me. And don't forget your rifle. Like a huge yellow silken scarf, the morning fog hangs in the jungle treetops. Tarzan, lying on a platform of twisted branches, waits on Jane, still sleeping in the leafy bower the ape man has built her. Tarzan would like to go to the water hole, but a rustling of leaves. The silken sheen of Sheeta's coat glints for a moment behind a clump of bamboo. Ah, Tarzan shakes his head. To leave Jane here to the doubtful mercy of the jungle? Oh, where am I? What happened? Oh, now I remember. Jane Porter crawls out from under the rude shelter, looks at Tarzan. Tarzan moves toward her. Jane. 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 Tarzan tries to take Jane in his arms, but the terror of the day before has faded and the girl repulses him. Tarzan can't understand. Yesterday, this she, Jane, had rushed to him for protection. Today, when he tries to comfort her, Jane beats the ape man's chest with her clenched hands. Let me go, do you hear? Let me go, let me go. Tarzan releases her. He can't understand the words, but the meaning. Yes, she is afraid. Tarzan wonders. Is it the knife? He takes it from his rude sheath and hands it to Jane, first first, much as one of his ancestors might have presented an honored blade. Jane hands back the knife, laughing. <laughs> no, no, white skin. You keep the knife. Knife? Knife? Yes, knife. You, white skin, keep knife. White skin? Knife? White skin, keep knife. Jane presses the knife into the ape man's hands as she repeats the word. Her hand's eyes brighten. White skin, keep knife. That's it. White skin, keep knife. Tarzan points to his mouth, then moves his lips, and at the same time pats himself on the stomach. Yes, yes. Gain hungry. Eat. 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 Tarzan moves his lips as he says the words after her. Gain hungry. Eat. White skin, hungry, feet. You got it. You got it, white skin. Oh, you learn quickly. 
Tarzan takes Jane up in his arms. This time, the girl doesn't struggle. And with a series of graceful, effortless jumps, Tarzan carries her from one broad branch to another, now to a rocky ledge, and down to the ground. He puts her gently on her feet, points rapidly several times to the base of a tree, and disappears into the jungle. Fear assails Jane. In every sound, she hears a further menace. Every darting shadow is some fresh, fearful thing. Even the chattering of friendly monkeys sends her heart fluttering. from the water hole are no longer distant, but terrifyingly near. What if white skin should not come back? She covers her ears with her hands as if by this action she could prevent from happening the thing she dreads. She stands motionless, fearing the slightest movement might attract some animal. Each minute seems like an hour. She hears the rustle of leaves above her. She's ready to flee. A branch crackles and... Tarzan, his arms piled high with luscious fruits of the jungle, stands before her. Oh, oh I'm so glad you've come. I was so... Frightened. 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 Tarzan lays the fruit at her feet and points to it. Frightened? Jane shakes her head, picks up a cluster of black cranberries. No. Food. Food? Yes. Jane, hungry. Eat food. White skin. Hungry. Eat food. And seating himself beside Jane... Tarzan leans back against the tree and prepares to enjoy to the full his breakfast. Offshore, the crew of the French cruiser searched the coastline for signs of life. Clayton is at the beacon as Porter and Philander follow behind. Uh, uh, Philander, uh, now that you and Clayton uh, believe that there is some, some slight hope that my Jane is still alive... I I feel... Yes, yes, ask me this one. I, I feel guilty not to go now at once into the jungle instead of remaining here at the headland. Yes, of course, Professor, but... But you realize that to go off into the forest now means, in short, that you'll perish. Should we find Jane, as I hope we will, then what will we say to her when she finds you gone? Yes, I suppose you're right, and yet... I know, Professor, your duty to Jane, if she's still alive, is to look out for yourself. And, my dear Porter, if she's gone, then, well, what difference will a few hours make? I know that I must sound brutal and, and too practical, but, Porter, you must feel you're right. right. You're right, Sir Lander, always right. There is much w reason and wisdom. In what you say, Porter, <laughs> Lander, hey, 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 what do you yes, want? What and is it? Those confounded monkeys have demolished the beacon. <laughs> uh, we'll have to gather more twigs and brush. Uh, uh, then, then we'll set about that task at once. Uh, come, Phil Lander. Uh, I'd like to start the fire now, but in this glaring sunlight, I doubt if the crew would see it. And it takes a decent-sized fire to burn the damp moss. Damp moss, Clayton? Yes. It's not the fire, but the smoke. Uh, and here, here, Clayton, are some twigs. Oh, that's yes. fine, Professor. Fine. This, this way, Professor. There seems to be quite an accumulation of dry brush here. Oh, uh, right uh, there. We need a coming, Phil Lander. Coming. Uh, ju just, uh, just a little more, and, and we'll be all set. There seems to be some activity aboard the steamer. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. Let's hurry. The, the pirate ship. Our ship seems to be putting about. You think, they, you think they've decided that we are no longer here? Yes. So we must... Yes, we, yes, we'll have to chance it. Lighting the fire, I mean. You hurry with some more branches. Here, Clayton, here. Yes. Throw, it, throw it right on fire. That's it. In a moment... It, 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 would, it would be well enough 
like to smoke some more muffins. Uh, do, do you want some muffs now, Jason? Yes, yes, I, I think you can try it. But be careful, though. You don't want to smother it too much, yes. No, it's beginning to smoke, yes. Yes, in a few seconds, you'll know whether or not the crow has seen it. Yes, 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 yes. What? Yes. Uh, uh, please, please, don't, please. Yes. Oh, then they must. Yes. They're afraid it's only a jungle. Oh, oh, they, they won't come. Oh, why did I delay? Why did I waste this valuable time when I might have been searching for my beloved ones? I'll go now. Back to the jungle where I'll search for her. I'll find her. Come down. Oh, oh, let me go. 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 Let me go.